Hey guys, I'm back. So you may notice that we went through quite a change of scenery and also that we went through a change of uh, weather. So if in case you don't know, okay guys, uh, I'm Brazilian, yes? So a lot of people have been asking me that a lot. Uh, and But I was not living in Brazil at the time I started this channel. So I've been living in France now for two years, essentially. I've been working on a double degree kind of... Uh, uh, kind of deal. So essentially, I, I spent two years in France, and then I came back, and then I have to come back to my university here at Brazil. And I'm going to finish kind of my studies at my university here. And after that, we'll see. So um, that was kind of the idea. Again, I spent two years in uh, France, as I was saying. And really, I left on the summer there. I think it was making about, what, 25, maybe. Uh, last week, it was close to 30 degrees. Now I'm facing temperatures uh, about 5, 8 degrees so, uh, degrees Celsius. So again, it's kind of a change of pace, really a change of uh, weather and stuff. I'm living at the sounder part of Brazil, so it really is kind of cold here. Um, with that said, again, I just wanted to make this kind of an off-topic off -topic video in order to uh, talk about how, how things have been going. So I haven't been able to post kind of twice a week for the for some two or three weeks in the in last month because again, I was working kind of on the project and also I was making sure that everything would run smoothly here in my transition again from France back to Brazil. I'm still taking my time getting used to stuff. I'm at my parents' house and I'm currently looking at uh, several days of uh, essentially forced vacations because again, my university courses, they are not beginning anytime soon. So I'll have a lot of free time on the other hand to kind of grow this YouTube channel and to post some videos again. So if again, uh, I'm renewing my kind of request for more recommendations if any of you guys have any. I still haven't forgot the ones that you made, so if you made any recommendation prior to my first kind of 100 subs videos, uh, video, then you can obviously send more and I will tackle them again. Uh, I'll start with the older ones and then we'll get to those that uh, from more recent posts. So this is one of the things, again, the channel has been growing pretty nicely, so if you remember uh, I think that last month we were at we were sitting at around 100 subscribers, and essentially by osmosis, most of the time just by reg, uh, just by, uh, by not posting anything, just by from the videos that I already had, we managed to get to close to 300 subscribers. We are now hitting at two. We are now sitting at 275, which is pretty nice. And this, I think that this shows something about YouTube. So uh, this is something that I already thought uh, thought about, but this is also something that the analytics have have helped me understand. So uh, essentially, I think that this may sound obvious, but the more subscriber you have, the more subscribers you have, the, the easier it is to get more. Because again, you already have more visibility. So I would say that if you're starting out, you shouldn't really, you shouldn't really lose faith, uh, lose faith if you have say less than 100. Because once you cross that line, I think that things are going to improve exponentially. And this is the thing about YouTube, and this is the thing about anyway, population numbers and stuff, things tend to grow exp exponentially. So the more people you know, once the, if the rule is the more people you know, then the bigger your network, the faster your network grows, then you have a kind of a behavior that looks like an exponential where things just start growing out of control very quickly. So this is the kind of thing that YouTube does. Again, it's not going to, you're not going to grow exponentially, obviously, but you are going to see much faster growth once you reach a certain number of subscribers. And really what helps that is I think, the how active your subscribers are. So for example, um, it's not really useful to have 100 subscribers if none of them watch your videos. Because uh, the how the alg algorithm works, the alg algorithm likes videos that have a good retention rate. So really, if you start out, you should, you should really find your niche so that you know, uh, so that you appeal to things that are common to all your subscribers and then you should focus on that and make your videos as interesting as possible so that again your your kind of subscribers watch it all the way to the end this is something that i've been struggling with obviously i haven't even posted um, 30 videos maybe to youtube so obviously i'm still a beginner there but i think i understand this idea now and this is something that again i'll try to take into account for my future videos uh what else can i say so yeah again uh really the uh, kind of the growth that i've been seeing is is in no small part due to my subscribers because you guys again you watch the videos you subscribe you follow me and stuff so really this is thanks to you again that i'm seeing that i'm starting to see more attention now and we'll see how this keeps going so this was more on the light of trying to show this these kind of different things that i found and i'm going to continue again tackling the things that i've been tackling so we're going to have an emacs video either today 
for tomorrow I'm going to deal with Helm and uh, Helm is a very interesting pa uh, package for Emacs. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to try to not only uh, bring in some new stuff that I found on the documentation, the documentation for Helm is really, really nice. I was going to incorporate those changes kind of in my configuration file for Emacs and then I'll push this. And this is the thing that I'll try to be doing every single video from now on. So I'll try to always do some research on the package, maybe improve my configuration, push that to GitHub and then post a new video just so that uh, to explain what I changed and also to give an overview on how the package works essentially. So this is going to be pretty nice. I'm going to have a lot more free time to work on YouTube from now on. And you're going to see me a lot more often. That's the bottom line, I think, of this video. So thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.